Here we have set up the solo variant for Aquasphere. You set it up much like you would the two-player game with a few small changes. Let's take a look at those changes. Have a D6 and a D10 readily available in the playing area. Choose a color for Urbot. He does use his engineer, scientist, and bots. He'll use a player mat only to keep track of his program bots. You can just pile his bots and submarines on his mat. You don't need to arrange them properly. After drawing and setting up your lab and sector, randomly choose a starting sector for Urbot and set his pieces, the crystal, and time markers as normal, including the bot he gets to place on his own program mat. Roll a d6 twice to choose two different control spaces. Place one of Urbot's bots on each of these. Now that we've had a look at the setup changes, let's take a look at the rule changes. You are the starting player and you take your turns as normal. On Urbot's turn, there are three options for him. He will either carry out an action of a program bot, program a bot, or roll a dice to decide his next action. Let's take a look in detail at the three options for Urbot on his turn. The first option is if he has two programmed bots on his mat. He will carry out an action. You will roll to decide which bot will be used and roll to determine where the action will be carried out. If you roll a 1 or 3 to determine where the action is carried out, he stays in his current sec sector. In a 4 or 5, he moves to the sector to his left. A 6 or 7, he moves to the sector to his right. If you roll an 8, he moves two sectors to the left. If you roll a 9, he moves two sectors to the right. If you roll a 10, he moves to the opposite sector on the board. After rolling, put the program bot in the control space of that sector which might displace the existing bot, into the loading station. Normal loading station rules apply. Then carry out the appropriate action for the sector. If the bot is programmed to take time markers, crystals, catch octopods, or take a research card, simply discard them from the sector, only discarding the top research card. If the bot is programmed to place a sub, Place the sub in the next available spot. If the bot is programmed to program a bot, put one of his bots on the appropriate program symbol on his player mat. If it is the expand the lab action, roll the d10 as usual, but only take the lab from that sector if it shows a letter that you do not have in your lab. If it is a letter you do have, look for a lab with a letter you do not have. Start with the Urbot's current sector or the one closest to it, rolling to break ties. Put his bot and scientist in that sector, then discard the lab expansion. Place his bots in the corresponding sector unless he already has control of that sector. If Urbot's action cannot be carried out in the chosen sector because an action cannot be carried out, then he will try to do so in a sector that would displace your bot from the control space. His first choice will be the sector his scientist is currently in, then the sectors next to that and next to those. Roll to select between two if ties are needed to be broken. If none of your controlled sectors will allow the action to be carried out, he will just do so in the closest empty sector. If possible, then in one of his controlled sectors, beginning with the one his scientist is in. The second option is if he has no program bots on his mat, he will program a bot. He will pass if he is at the top of the programming space. When Urbot programs a bot, you roll to choose which of the two programming spaces his engineer will enter. 
put one of his bots on the appropriate program symbol on his player mat. Here's an exception. The Urbot will always choose the lab expansion space, so there's no need to roll when the lab expansion is a choice. The last option for the Urbot is if he has one program bot on his mat, um, roll a d6. On a 1 to 3, he will carry out the action. On a 4 through 6, he will program another bot, or pass if he's at the top of the programming space. The game ends the same as in the base game. So what did I like? I feel like determining what Urbot does each round is well put together. The two bots, one bot, no bot dice roll is a great mechanic that elicits the feel of a multiplayer game. I also like the mechanic of the expanding lab action for the Urbot. The fact that the Urbot targets expansion letters that you don't have really balances your finisher lab strategy. What didn't I like? The process of moving the Urbot around the board is not overly difficult, but is also isn't the most streamlined part of this variant. It does add some good moments for, of the Urbot messing with your plans. It's just not always a clear-cut decision on what you need to do. Overall, this variant plays very easy and lets you focus on your game. The Urbot throws in just enough wrinkles into the game that will make you adapt your strategy from situation to situation. Hey, I'm Hans, and if you like what you saw, go ahead and click subscribe below, and good things will happen for you forever. <laughs>